Good morning, everybody. I'm creating this video today to show you how to make animated GIFs. And I'm going to specifically do one from scratch using Google Draw and Animated GIF Maker. And this one is going to be an example about how lithium atoms would react with a molecule of fluorine. Now, just to give you an idea of how long this takes, I'm showing you right now that it's 7.42 in the morning. And I have started off with Drive. I'm just going to hit New and select the Google Drawing. I'm going to title the Google Drawing. Then you're going to get going. There are lots of shapes or lines to use, and the snap features and the center features make this pretty easy to make decent looking pictures. So here I've got some templates for Bohr models and one electron. So I can click on these things and copy and move them around. So what I'm going to do to put electrons on these diagrams is I'm just going to take this one template electron and hit control C and then control V and use the arrow keys to move it. I'm just going to make text boxes and label these. And I'm just going to make electron dot diagrams below this. All right, so now I've got my first scene set up. What I'm going to do is go to File and Download, and download it as a JPEG image. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the things that I want to move in my animated GIF, and I'm going to just use the arrow keys to move them one space over. And then I'm going to go to File and Download and JPEG image again. And notice that it's going to download it, but you can't see it. When I hover over it, you can see that it's naming it with a one after it. So I'll click the same things that I want to move, move them all slightly again, and go to File and Download again. And now it's naming it with a two. So I'm going to keep doing this until things are in the place that I want them. You can also select multiple things and move them all as one.
So you might notice that on the last image, I downloaded five that are all exactly the same, and that'll give people who are watching this a chance to see how things end up, and so it won't start looping immediately as soon as the process is done. So once I've got all of these saved, they're in my downloads folder by default. I'm gonna to go to this website. It's an animated GIF maker. There are a number of other ones. This is one that I've found luck with. And you would choose the files from your download. I've made 59 different pictures, and so I'm going to select them all. I'm gonna upload them. It shows them all in order. You can copy some if you wanted to make something seem longer. You can skip some. You can change the delays on different ones, or you can go to the bottom to make the delay time. These are in 1 100th of a second, and so it's how long it's going to pause on each picture. The smaller the number, the smoother it will be. There are a number of other options you can choose here. You can toy around with them and see how they look. And then when you're all ready, you will ask it to make your GIF. And so you can see this is the animation that I created. All you have to do is to right click on it and save the image as. And now you've got a clip done, an animated GIF to explain part of your reaction. Now I did say that I would show you how long this took. I did take about a half an hour break. So right now it's 8.40. Um, so it took about an hour to do this with the half hour break.